In pre-Islamic times, there were not very many words to describe paintings and sculpture. Most architecture, such as the Kaaba, were archaic structures constructed by Jewish craftsmen. The swift conquest of Muslim armies put the Arabs in contact with several cultures that had a significant visual heritage. Examples would be Byzantium, Mesopotamia, and Iran. The conquerors rejected narrative and anthropomorphic imagery, especially in the realm of religion. Islam has a provision for the prohibition of imagery laid out in the Hadith. This set of writings was compiled by Muhammad al-Bukhari around 870 Common Era. Here is the passage. In the day of the judgment, the painter will be destined to the pains of hell, and he will be asked to infuse life into the forms he modeled but he will not be able to infuse them with life. The operative expression here is breath of life. This means that there are not supposed to be depictions of humans or large mammals that have the breath of life, since only Allah can grant that. Depictions of birds or insects, flowers and plants, on the other hand, are allowed. Therefore, we see the invention and deployment of a highly characteristic artistic language of a geometric and floral type when it comes to architecture. Architecture helped Muslims to transmit novel religious content through the language of artistic form and symbol. This means that every piece of Muslim art or architecture is substantially symbolic and lends itself to different levels of interpretation. Islam considers all worldly goods as expressions of vanity. The Hadith, for example, criticizes architecture as, quote, the vainest thing to eat up the wealth of a believer, end of quote. Yet, Muslims were and still are spectacular builders. Architecture can be practical because it can be used for prayer, or be political because it can glorify a patron. It can also be aesthetic because it reveals a subtlety of form or also mystic and theological because it confirms the tenets of the faith. These artworks make the invisible manifest as a life experience. In Islamic art, order and beauty are not mere adornments. They demonstrate the existence of God.